Wallpaper seam repair. Hey, this is Spencer, and I want to show you how to repair wallpaper seams when they, after a couple of years of being up, moisture, water from bathtubs, humidity in the air from showers, compromise the strength of your wallpaper, especially at the seams and in the corners. Take this for example, right here. So you see this seam? This wallpaper was just completely an inch into the seam, completely compromised. So now, how do you fix it? Well, pretty much the same way that you're going to rep uh, put up wallpaper. First of all, the it's paper, it's dry. The backing on it is still intact, fully intact. And so you pretty much have to treat this the way you would hang wallpaper. The, f the last thing you want to do is put glue on it and just close it up. What you have to do is you have to soak the paper again the way you would when you, when I say soak, I mean you have to, you have to wet the backing so that it absorbs the moisture of the water and then you want to apply the glue because if you put the glue on, yeah, the backing will absorb the moisture out of the glue but it will draw too much of the moisture and there will be a disproportionate amount of uh, moisture in the backing and it will compromise the integrity of the, of the adhesive, believe it or not. So anyway, you wet the backing, you take a damp cloth, you take a brush, whatever you have to do to get the backing wet and then you give it some time. You feel it until it becomes soft. It's very much like when you first hang the paper. So. You see this right here, it's, it's, if you could feel this, it's nice and soft. And so I put the wetness in there, then I put the glue in there. I'm ready to seam this up, okay? But if you just put the glue in there, you'll see when you press it down, it keeps coming back up, even with the best seam repair adhesive. And what, what would you use to repair this? Well, first off, you could use wallpaper adhesive. Why not? Isn't that what it was hung up with in the first place? The reason why it was compromised was because moisture got in there, okay? So now I'm convinced that it's wet enough. It, the backing has absorbed the moisture from the water. Now I'm going to try to uh, put the seam back intact. And I'm just taking a regular plastic smoother and I'm pushing that seam back into place. Okay, very good. It's very good wallpaper. Um, remember from my other videos, if you, there's always a chance you can damage the color on wallpaper or the wallpaper itself when you, any contact with it, any contact with it is a risk of, you know, um, compromising the beauty of it. So you have to be careful. You have to use the right tools. This is very smooth. When it's not, throw it out, get a new one. I like that pretty cheap. And if you do this for a living, buy all of them when you come into the store because sometimes they don't have them. And uh, you go through them often enough because they, they get cut. They get nicks in them. So now, I could use a wallpaper roller. It's, the, uh, it's just a little roller that actually rolls the seam. But I'm using the same thing with my thumb right there. It's doing the same thing a seam roller would do. Okay, see now the glue came out. It's very much, you want to even the surface out. You, if you have too much glue in there, your seam will be repaired, but it will be jutting out and you don't want that. Okay, so you saw what it looked like and now you see the seam. Now, if you're saying you can see white there, I'm, I'm only repairing the seam here. I'm not here to reinstall the wallpaper. That was the way the wallpaper looked. The customer wants the seam repaired and, and that's, and there you have it. Same thing up here. You know, you can tell what happened here. Here's a shower and here's the moisture trying to get out the window. And, and so we have this issue, which is very common in, uh, in household wallpaper around, uh, around moisture. 
So the way to avoid this, if you're hanging the wallpaper yourself, is whatever glue they give you for your wallpaper, take an extra measure by applying a thicker adhesive at the seams and in the corners, at the, wherever the wallpaper ends, that's at the top, at the bottom, on the left and right corners, in the top left and right corners. Put an extra adhesive there, treat the wall a little more carefully than you would the rest of the wall, because this is where the wallpaper comes up, okay? And you would do that by getting a super tacky glue. Uh, I use border adhesive. But you could also uh, do a mixture of border adhesive. And as, as long as the, uh, the wallpaper, you have to find out if the wallpaper is averse to receiving like a clay-based glue. Uh, it could compromise the color of it, depending. This is a dark wallpaper. Uh, if, if I put a colored glue in there, it's not going to alter the color of the glue. But if you do it on a white, you could do that. Just uh, if you have a question, you can send me. You can call Roman, the company that makes all of the wallpaper supplies for glue, the different adhesives, the different treatments of the wall before you put up the wallpaper. Check before you do it. This is not very difficult to do. You can do this at home. Remember, a little patience and a little know-how goes a long way. All right, if you like the video, please click down on, on, on your left there. Click like and please subscribe. Thank you.